The air crackles with tension, a foreboding sign of the chaos to come. The streets are filled with fear as the shadows of conflict loom large over the city. Lebanon, a nation accustomed to turmoil, finds itself once again on the brink of a new crisis. The latest chapter in the seemingly endless conflict with Israel has ignited, marked by a dramatic escalation of violence and a palpable sense of dread that grips the populace. Israel, citing the ever-present threat of Hezbollah, has unleashed a wave of airstrikes, targeting what it claims are key elements of the militant group's infrastructure, aiming to cripple their capabilities. The strikes, the most intense in years, have shaken the nation to its core, sending shockwaves through the region and raising fears of a wider conflagration that could spiral out of control. The recent escalation is not an isolated incident, but the culmination of weeks of mounting tension, a powder keg waiting to explode. Border clashes, rocket fire, and retaliatory strikes have become a tragically familiar rhythm in this troubled corner of the world, a cycle of violence that seems unending. However, the intensity and scope of the latest Israeli offensive mark a significant departure from the status quo, signaling a potential turning point in the conflict, one that could redefine the region's future. As bombs rain down and rockets arc across the sky, the specter of a full-blown war looms large, threatening to engulf the entire region in a conflict that few are prepared to face, a nightmare scenario for all involved. The world watches with bated breath, hoping for a swift de-escalation, but bracing for the possibility of further violence as the situation remains volatile and unpredictable. The situation in Lebanon is a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the devastating human cost of conflict, a sobering reality that underscores the urgent need for resolution. As the international community grapples with how to respond, one thing is clear. The need for a peaceful resolution has never been more urgent, a call that echoes through the halls of diplomacy. The fate of Lebanon, and indeed the stability of the entire region, hangs precariously in the balance, a delicate equilibrium that must be carefully navigated to avoid catastrophe. In a series of carefully calculated strikes, Israel has set its sights on what it believes to be the financial heart of Hezbollah. Al Qard Al Hassan Bank. This institution, long suspected of funneling funds to the militant group, has become a focal point of the Israeli offensive. The strikes, carried out with surgical precision, are intended to cripple Hezbollah's ability to operate, disrupting its financial networks and limiting its capacity to wage war. The targeting of Al Qard Al Hassan represents a significant escalation in Israel's strategy. By striking at the financial underpinnings of Hezbollah, Israel aims to deliver a crippling blow to the organization's ability to function. The bank, according to Israeli intelligence, serves as a critical node in Hezbollah's financial network, facilitating transactions, managing assets, and providing crucial support for its military operations. The strikes on the bank have sent shockwaves through Lebanon's financial sector, raising concerns about the stability of the economy and the potential impact on ordinary citizens. The Lebanese government has condemned the strikes as an act of aggression, accusing Israel of deliberately targeting civilian infrastructure and exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. As the dust settles, the full extent of the damage to Hezbollah's financial network remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. Israel's decision to target al Qard al-Hassan represents a significant gamble, one with potentially far-reaching consequences for the region. Hezbollah, never one to back down from a challenge, has responded to the Israeli strikes with a show of force of its own. A barrage of rockets, fired from positions in southern Lebanon, has rained down on northern Israel, setting off air raid sirens, and sending communities scrambling for shelter. The rocket attacks, while largely symbolic in nature, are a clear message from Hezbollah. They will not be intimidated and are prepared to defend themselves against Israeli aggression. The rocket fire has brought life in northern Israel to a standstill. Schools and businesses have been closed, 
and residents have been ordered to remain in their homes or seek refuge in bomb shelters. The Israeli military has responded with artillery fire and airstrikes on suspected Hezbollah launch sites, further escalating the cycle of violence. The exchange of fire highlights the precarious nature of the situation and the ease with which the conflict could spiral out of control. Both sides have demonstrated their willingness to use force, raising fears of a wider confrontation. The international community has appealed for restraint, urging both sides to step back from the brink and seek a peaceful resolution. However, with tensions running high and neither side willing to back down, the situation remains volatile and unpredictable. Section 4. The Human Cost of Conflict Casualties mount as tensions escalate. As the bombs fall and the rockets fly, it is the innocent civilians who bear the brunt of the violence. The relentless exchange of fire has turned once peaceful neighborhoods into war zones, leaving residents in a state of constant fear and uncertainty. The human cost of this latest eruption in the Israeli-Hezbollah conflict is already being measured in shattered lives and shattered dreams. Families are torn apart, and the emotional scars left by the conflict will take generations to heal. Hospitals are struggling to cope with the influx of wounded, while families grieve the loss of loved ones caught in the crossfire. Medical staff are working around the clock, often with limited supplies, to save lives and provide comfort to the injured. The incident involving the deaths of three Lebanese soldiers, killed when an Israeli airstrike targeted their position near the border, has further inflamed tensions and underscored the tragic consequences of this escalating conflict. The loss of these soldiers has been a significant blow to the Lebanese military and has heightened the sense of vulnerability among the population. The deaths of the soldiers, deemed accidental by Israeli officials, have sparked outrage in Lebanon adding fuel to the fire of anti-Israeli sentiment. Protests have erupted across the country, with demonstrators demanding justice and an end to the violence. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the fog of war, where miscalculations and unintended consequences can have devastating results. The chaotic nature of the conflict makes it difficult to distinguish between combatants and civilians, leading to tragic mistakes. The Lebanese government has condemned the strike as a deliberate act of aggression, while the international community has expressed concern over the rising death toll and called for an immediate cessation of hostilities. Diplomatic efforts are underway to broker a ceasefire and bring both sides to the negotiating table. Amid the escalating violence, a humanitarian crisis is unfolding in Lebanon. The conflict has forced thousands of people to flee their homes, creating a massive displacement crisis. Thousands of people have been displaced from their homes, seeking refuge in overcrowded shelters or fleeing to safer areas. The conditions in these shelters are dire, with limited access to basic necessities such as food, water, and sanitation. The Lebanese Red Cross and other aid organizations are working tirelessly to provide food, water, medical care, and other essential assistance to those in need. But their resources are stretched thin. Volunteers are risking their lives to deliver aid to the most affected areas. The international community must act swiftly and decisively to address the growing humanitarian crisis and prevent further suffering. Coordinated efforts are needed to ensure that aid reaches those who need it most and to support long-term recovery and rebuilding efforts. Section 5 World leaders, diplomats, and international organizations have expressed grave concern over the escalating conflict, urging both Israel and Hezbollah to exercise restraint.
achieved.